Some of the athletes from our region are back home tonight from the race. NBC5's Lauren Granado was there to welcome them as they crossed the finish line on Boylston Street. Over 30,000 athletes took on 26.2 miles of this iconic and historic race, representing 129 countries, and that's why it's so special to know over 200 athletes proudly represented our region right here on this course. Crowds roaring during the 128th Boston Marathon as the sun beat down on our athletes who trained in a different kind of climate. It was not snowing and it was not below freezing, so I am now very wet from all the water I dumped on myself. It was great. Did you learn anything differently from this Boston Marathon this time around? I learned that it's still just as hard to pace the first half. I did a little better though. It was a big day for two cyclists from our region. Alicia Dana from Putney, Vermont took first place in her division and Devin Murphy from Keysville, New York took the third slot this year. I can actually speak right now. <laughs> I am not totally gassed, so I'm happy. Any day in Boston's a good day, but today just the weather was good, the course was good. We had a tailwind at one point. An iconic and historic race that's also become one of the most inclusive after opening a non-binary division for the first time last year. This year's number doubled within the division. More people feel safe coming out and finding themselves. I personally found myself through running and I was able to experiment with gender and seeing more and more people be able to do that and truly be themselves. It's just so, so heartwarming. A warm day sanctioned by no other than former Boston Patriots player Rob Gronkowski. The course was really cool. It was really neat and it's just so cool to experience just everyone, you know, alongside of the road just there to support all the, uh, to support all the runners coming by. And all of those athletes from our region tell us that they're excited to head back home to celebrate with their friends and family. Reporting here in Boston, Lauren Granada, NBC5 News.